na leo nitaongelea leo nitaongelea hatari za manabii bandia na maovu na yetokamana na madhabao zao katika nchi yetu ya Kenya hatari za manabii bandia na na uovu kwenye madhabao yao hapo Kenya Dangers of false prophets and their evil altars in Kenya. Dangers of false prophets and the evil altars in the land of Kenya. Na naomba makinike sana na kufanya kudumu. Munga kupatio fahamu wa luga zote swahili na kingereza. Japo nigedipenda ni wasilisha ujumba huu sana kwa kiingereza. Sababu jumbe zetu zinaona mpaka Ulaya, niliona someone anafuatilia jumbe zetu from Canada, they mean from Germany. And also we have some people in the US. Na pia inawezekana kwamba jumbe someone received this message then forward the message. So I want us to really um jaribu sana kufuatilia kwa makini even as I try to balance basikizaji wetu wa kanisani na wale wasio wa hapa. Hallelujah. Bwana siwe. Naomba kwamba usilale nikihubiri na pia naomba kwamba uwe macho. Then also when you you can say an amen somewhere please quip an amen. That meaning kwamba tunakubaliana kwa pamoja. Asante Bwana. Hatari za manabii bandia na uovu ya madhabao yao katika nchi ya Kenya. Na naendeleza naendeleza jumbe hizi I am continue these messages because God has found a prophet. God has raised a prophet. And the prophet must declare the word that God was to declare. So there the, there is need for understanding the prophetic ni muhimu sana uelewe unabii na pia uelewe mwenendo wa kinabii and if you understand the prophets i mean the prophetics and the place of a prophet you will be saving yourself a lot of ignorance utakuwa unajiokoa tokana na kila upumbavu na upumbavu mwingi so Mungu ana manabii wateule wake God has his chosen prophets but you must also know that there are also false prophets lazima unjue kwamba pia kuna walio manabii bandia na manabii bandia wanaweza fanana na manabii wa Mungu God always holds the original but Satan exerts in photocopy these people disrespect me God help us Satan the blind agents So God will always have the original and Satan will always copy. That's why I've called Satan a photocopier, copycat. Satan exists in counterfeiting that which is originally of God. Shetani yeye ufanyisha kukilibu kugushi kila macho ni chabwani That's why there is the holy spirit of God and there is another spirit we call them familiar spirits evil spirits lying spirits they are for certain. 
So Mungu ana mafuta kamili ili mafuta masafi. Shetani ana mafuta pia. Mafuta machafu. Mungu anaye ana roho, roho mtakatifu. So kuna roho wa Mungu. Hivyo hivyo shetani anazo roho zake. Roho chafu. Hivyo hivyo tuna Biblia takatifu na wale wale pia kuna zo Biblia zisizo Biblia takatifu. Kuna zo jumbe za kiungu ambazo ni sauti ya Mungu na pia kuna zo jumbe ambazo ni za kishetani. Tuna madhabahu ya kiungu hivyo hivyo kuna zo madhabahu za kishetani baza giza so kuna zo, kuna mwanga wa Yesu kuna nuru ya Yesu na kuna giza ambao ni ya shetani so every time there is there is what is born of god the enemy will always also bring up another of his kind and shetani atafanya bidii sana ili kukushi kile ambacho ni halali cha Bwana na katika hali hiyo ajaribu sana kuwadanganya wateule wa Bwana kujaribu sana kutia doa kile kizio cha Bwana na hapo ndio mtu mkristo shati sana ukawa macho na upewe macho ya kiroho ili uweze kupambanua utofautishe kilicho cha Bwana Mungu na kile ambacho si chake Bwana. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Iwapo utashindwa kupambanua na uweze kutofautisha kipi cha Bwana na ni kipi kisicho cha Bwana, basi wewe ni mpumbavu. Basi wewe utakuwa una upumbavu. Na ndipo sa maaniko katika Hosea sura 4 mstari wa sita na Mungu ananena kwa sauti ya nabii Hosea na anasikitika akili ya kwamba watu wangu wanaangamia kwa ajili ya kukosa maarifa kukosa maarifa ndio inaitwa upumbavu maana mtu asiye na maarifa ni mtu ambaye hana busara mtu asiye na hekima na maana nikasema kwamba wana wa dunia hii wana hekima kwa shida wana wa haki. Ombi langu ni kwamba upokee hekima katika jina la Yesu. Kwamba upokee maarifa katika jina la Yesu. Haleluya. Pokee okay, maarifa na ufahamu. In the name of Jesus. So I say that God every time God raises what is his Satan does the counterfeit. And Satan has counterfeited the oil. Satan has counterfeited the anointing. Satan has counterfeited the word. And Satan has counterfeited the church. So we have the church of Jesus. And also we have the church of darkness. The synagogue of Satan. Beware. Because if Satan manages to trap you, forget about making it to heaven. Kama chosa, maana. Kama shetani akafaulu kukuweka mtegoni, then itakuwa ni hasara kubwa sana. Maana utakosa kuingia mbinguni. So what is what are big loss? Umeokoka miaka 20. You've been saved for 30 years. Then imagine you miss heaven. Ya people have been saved for 50 years but when they died they did not enter heaven There are pastors who died and all of us had great funerals for them but they never entered heaven They are now the judgment of hell And most unfortunately is those who are alive now and are hearing this message they choose to ignore it that shouldn't be you 
na ikawa bwana ananionyesha ni kwa ajili gani kanisa jinsi ilivyo sasa haitaweza kupokea uvuvu wa Yesu Kristo na kwamba haingi haitaweza kutumika katika uvuvu nikiambia uvuvu na ongelea revival maana kuja kuri kwake Yesu kuna za mambo ambazo zikafanyika there is a process na god will not use another enterprise another outfit other than the body of christ so yesu hana chombo kingine ambacho atakitumia katika uvuvu the only entity that god has ordained is the church of jesus but the church the way it is now it is so that church the way it is now it is it is so corrupted jesu kanisa hivi sasa imeingiwa na uovu imeingiwa na uchafu imetiwa dosa na kazi hiyo ni ya shetani and the conspiracy ambayo shetani ameifanyisha ni kuharibu madhabahu hmm? mwili wa Kristo Yesu kuichafua chafua because kwa maana anajua kwamba Mungu ni Mungu mtakatifu na katika utakatifu wake Mungu hawezi tumia chombo kichafu kanisa ambalo Yesu atalenyakua ni kanisa ambalo alina doa that's why kanisa la fananishwa na vazi la biharusi ambalo shati siwe na madoa doa isiwe na uchafu as things are right now the the the, the dress the bridal dress vazi la biharusi lina madoa doa lina uchafu na tell you Satan is very happy but he is so worried of the prophets like one on yango he is so worried of the saints who are righteous Satan is so afraid and worried about you a righteous saint Satan ana ogopesho sana na watakatifu ambao watazingatia utakatifu ana amona hofu sana wa uh, juu ya wa Kristo ambao wana utakatifu ambao wana neno ambao wana mafuta ambao wana maono ambao wanajua wana kuenenda ambao wanatembea kwa heshima ya kiungo ambao wanazingatia maombezi better rise and set up that's why you must stand strong usinale was it sincere because this is a great war this is a great battle if there is a time if there is a time that a christian must be very vigilant it is now be very vigilant for your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking whom he shall he should do what he should devour but because you are your watch out you will not get you hata kupata haleluya please maintain the number so people may have to stay outside the tent the one trouble and that man was disrespected me hiyo gari jitashe baada ya mimi kuhubiri it has for a long time this respect a man of god and is using our place in a union that would be it. that would be moot praise be to jesus kama chosa wala mbona washika wa revelation wizo ministries na wahubiria 
If you peradventure faith to make it to heaven, it is your own doing and your own making. Kama hau taingia binguni ulia mshirika ambayo ni wa Revelation Wisdom Ministries pamoja na wengine ambao wanisikiza whether via YouTube or Facebook ama ni kando umechukua ukasikiza If you fail to make it to heaven after this mission to be on choice Leo mtakadi opatie ufunuo jinsi mtu amenipatia namna Shetani amefanyisha kuharibu madhaba mengi. Everett moja uh, ikiwemo Nairobi ikiongoza. Mombasa pamoja na uh, maeneo mengine. I thank God that he has given me life to live to speak his oracles in this season of time. Na sio mbona kuniweka hai ni kwamba nikaongea mambo haya kwa nyakati hizi. Kuna hapo nyuma Mungu akanionyesha namna ulimwengu wa giza imefanya kujipanga. Wakawa wamenaona wamepanga ibada zao. So I was taken into a vision and in this vision i saw how the system of the enemy is working and i nikaona ibada zao mfumo wao nikaona wanazo wana madhabahu nikaona wana ibada nikaona mavazi za ibada yao nikaona mpangilio mahususi katika ibada zao and I'm telling you those of us who underestimate the enemy think again the enemy is so organized enye katika in that organization even an elect the saint of God can fall to the top of the enemy because their system is very organized mfumo wa shetani imepangwa sana imepangwa mahususi and that's why ni vigumu sana kupambanua kuwajua manabii wa kishetani. And I'm surprised about pastors who don't who sit and are watching this funny televisions, gymnastics. How can a servant of God sit watching sasa? Watching aviation. Washing deliverance. Washing royal. <laughs> if you have been, it shows how fallen you are fallen. Na ma pastor ma wa nakawa kiangalia. That's why many pastors are photocopying holy water. Pastors photocopying packaging anointing oil. Pastors photocopy. They are following into packaging hmm? pictures of some funny funny prophets if you are a servant of god be original be who you are kwa vile mungu alikuita bwana sasiwe be original hata hapa kanisani wa ibaya be original mahubiri yako pasta be original Unaambia mwanzo manabii tunatoa let us be original. Bible says kuna manabii ambao Mungu atawajaji because wakakopi unabii ya nabii mwingine wakaufanya ni unabii wao kisha wakapeana. God has a case with the prophets who also you copy other people's prophecies. If you are reader of the Bible you know that I'm speaking in the context of the Bible. I am a theologian as well. And I don't preach outside the boundary of the word of God. 
So a prophet who has the word of God, he must speak the word. Nabia nena nena nae pia. Alisema nena. Lakini nabia mbae anangushi. Umesikia ujumbe wa nabi fly. Kisha ukaifanyisha. Unabi wako kupeana. Umeanguka. Even me, I cannot run with another person's prophecy. I'll be limiting God. And that's why God has so many prophets at any given time. 7,000 of them. He gives them word for each. However, they can speak but one voice. So that the word spoken by one prophet can be confirmed with another prophet. That's how God operates. God is not a photocopying machine. Mungu siyo machine ya photocopy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, shetani katika mpinu zake za kuharibu kanisa la yesu. Ametumia mpinu hizo kunyakua manabi walio wabwana na kuwaza kuwachafua. There are some prophets, unfortunately, lipo wa wani waza vema. Na katikati walikuwa na pressure shinikizo ya kuwa manabi wa kubwa wawo watimisho wa kubwa awe kanisa kubwa awe na umato wa watu wei nao katika hali hizo waka angukia mutego wa sheta it's not bad to have a big following siya mbaya kuwa na wafuwa si wengi Nadhata ni maisi mefunua mwa ni nipewa sibu kwa mkele ya leo ni tarehe tarehe kapi leo tarehe saba wana akanipa neno lake akanipa proof ya ufunuo mbili na ufunuo hizi siya titofauti na zile amenipa hapo awali lakini mungu anarudia anarudia na ni katika hali ya kutia mkazo kwamba anakuja kulihukumu kanisa so in this vision of the Lord most high I was given I was shown a church nikaonyeshwa kanisa na kanisa hilo nikaonyeshwa pa laki limechaka ok kwa inje juu pa inakaa ni safi kwa sawa lakini mimi nikaingizwa ndani nikaanza kuangalia paa nilikuwa na paa hii ikishukiwa tu na njiwa ama kitu kidogo hiyo paa itasink imekulwa na kutu paa la kanisa imekulwa na kutu ndani na na mabati huwa ile mabati imezeeka ukibonyeza na mkono wako in, inafanya nini na katika nikaonyesha ndio paa la kanisa Of course you can say that too. But this was the universal I mean the church. Whether uh, I was having a knowing in the church of Elbridge, then I was having this knowing in the church, uh, the body of Christ. And uh, God will speak to me about Elbridge because Elbridge happens to be the city where this mountain is established. And it happens to be my area of jurisdiction as well. Sasa kuonyeshwa hivyo nikaza kuwa na naipa si ita itafanya kuanguka any given time because mtu haiwezi kapanda juu utatanguka nikama nimekula na acid acid uh, kama ile pa ambayo imekewa acid na acid imekula pa so hiyo pa imekulika na imekula na kutu so nilikuwa na pia pa kwa ndani ina kutu na nikaangalia the entire corners hiyo pa lote ni it's time imekusha it has expired and i was being taken down to see prophetic dreams and prophetic revelations god gives you understanding in the dream or in that vision or revelation And I was made to understand that the path must be removed. Kwamba the roof must be removed. 
So as I say that I saw the church and the roof, but the inside the roof, the roof was was actually corrupted. The roof was um, uh, was rotting. It's like um, the roof was uh, was being eaten by acid. And the appearance of the roof from inside is that the roof had expired. And the roof was weak. And it was just a matter of time for the roof to fall. And that the roof could not in any case withstand any weight, even the weight of a bird. But outside, the roof appeared to be normal. It appeared to be shiny. Corrugated iron appearing to be like it is it is alright. But inside it was rusty. It had been eaten, it had withered. And it was just a matter of time before it falls. And uh, because prophetic visions and revelations, God gives you understanding, they are real. I was meant to understand. Thus, the church and the roof, the way it is, it must be removed. And that reminds me of a prayer vision also. When I saw the church of Jesus, the wall is so weak and the wall is falling. And I'm talking, I'm giving these messages talking about the dimension. I'm actually the dimension of the body of Christ. So it's not, it's not a particular church I'm talking about. It is the body of Jesus. And the Lord told me that he has removed the hedge. Wana akawa na niambia meondowa ukuta. Ukuta ukiondoleo. Adui akoradi kuwa shambodia. And then God started, started making me understand. Nga kaza kunifanyisha. Kufahamu. Jinsi gani kanisa likapoteza mamlaka yake. Ngovu yake na sauti yake. So there is a way the church lost it. There is a way that the church lost the voice. There is a way that the church lost its strength. There is a way the church lost its authority. Doesn't mean that you don't have authority. But the authority we have is not measurable to the standard that God had placed the church. And it has a warranted judgment. God, I agree with the judgment. Having seen and having been made to understand by the Lord God, I agree with Him for judgment. And I pray that let the judgment come faster. Revival is sweeter than the current status. Revival is, is better than the current state of affairs. So we need revival, can say Malala. So we need to have Now, if you have a picture, you can see that you have a picture. If you have a picture, you can see that you have a picture. If you have a picture, you can see that Kanisa la hitaji kutingizwa. Maofu ya liopandwa kuonolewa. Yili kwa mba tukaweza sasa kufanya nini? Ufufu. And God was showing me how the church lost its power. Even if you kanisa likapuleza mamalaka. Mapasa mawa hakaona they want to be rich quickly. They want to be famous quickly. They want to be authoritative quickly. They want to make it big time, quickly. And they enter the trap of the enemy in their quest for it. And the enemy traps them. And when the enemy traps you, the enemy can never use you to pierce the house of God. He'll only use you 
to unknowingly start destroying the work of God. So I don't have a wale watu ambao walikuwa na tamaa utajiri wa haraka tamaa ya jina kubwa kwa haraka tamaa ya kuwa na wafuasi wengi tamaa ya kujenga majengo kubwa tamaa ya kuhubiri kwa runinga tamaa ya kuwa popular a prophet is not meant to be popular in fact prophets are never popular a genuine prophet of god is not popular because God will give him a word concerning you. God can give him a word, and the word that he is given, you will not like that prophet. You will be so afraid to get closer to him, but at adventure, he exposes your evil. And that's why people flock to follow hmm? motivational speakers than prophets of God. But if they will follow the prophet of God, it is because one of my amua, I want God to speak to me matters concerning me and I'm willing and ready to repent. They will not care to follow a prophet. They will be there with the prophet. If that be you, then the Lord will encourage you and be strong and be blessed of him. Hallelujah. Lakini unapata kwamba watu wengi wanataka ufuate watu mshambao hawata nena kuhusu adhabu yao, kuhusu maovu yao. Hapana. Ndipo sasa nasema kwamba mtu nabii hmm? hakuwa hivi mashuhuri. He's not famous. And if he becomes famous, they will call him a prophet of doom. That's why we messages. What do we messages? Repent, watch a dambi, tubu, guana na kuja, ata kuanga miza, guana asema, ata kumaliza, ata kumaliza, we open the maonyo. So I'm saying that many servants of God who are consumed with a desire to be popular fed into the top of the earth. So when money isn't enough to sustain them in the TV broadcasting, wanavumbua mbinu. The book of Jeremiah, ya umilia wana ambao wana ujuzi wakufumbua dambi. Ambao wana biti ya kufumbua njia mpia za kufanya madambi. They invent brand new ways of sin. And they, 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 they rejoice. They are their joy. Ni wakati wabefumbua je ingina ya dambi. Discoverers of sin. Inventors of evil. But in matters righteousness, matters godliness, they are dummy. So now hey, you see a prophet packages anointing oil and put as a scripture. Sasa imagine mimi sasa nianze kuwaekea mafuta kwa machupa na nichukue picha yangu naweka pale. Wanyango alpha and omega. Personality cut, idolatry. Na imagine what Christo Amal. They leave their own churches where they have a pastor. Then they flock to some funny altars kama hizo and they pay money to buy such stuff. They come with them. Nyumbani <laughs> No wonder what is all about to become like the blind agents who are able to mend the bow and you will appear was a decay. When you go and import such an oil, then bring you then apply it on yourself, then anoint your house with it, and then you go to your own your, your local church. You are corrupting that altar. Because you are importing demons, you are forming a highway for demons to come. A demon shall come into a place where there is his contact point. When you have a funny, funny handkerchief, when you have a funny, funny anointing oil, 
Then you have a very funny, funny paraphernalia of darkness. Why would the devil not come? Demons follow where they are, where their staff are. My people of water, my kuna kitu chao. Wakati mbebana na irizi matoa na one time I prayed for a certain girl, certain lady. And this lady was disparate to marry, get married. But I looked at her, I said, you've squandered your time, your opportunity to get married. And she must have thought, I'm just like one of those prophets. Who will respond to your disparation even if it's for wickedness or through any wicked means? My number one assignment is to point you to Jesus. Now my number one assignment is to have you repent your sin. My number one assignment is to make you the child of God. My number one assignment is to preach to you the kingdom of Jesus. My assignment is to preach to you the reality of heaven for you to enter. One has fear. Now this woman was so desperate to get married. So when I pray, I saw her getting delivered, getting freed, and then I told her, well, God showed me everything about her. She was sold to the devil by the family. And she became an, a woman available for every man, hoping that any, because she's generous with every man, someone will take her home. Every man loves free things. I mean, a lot of men love free things. The freer you are, the cheaper you are, the cheaper you are, the unsellable you are, the unsellable you are, the harder it is for you to be back, to be taken by anyone for a wife. So that was her case. So she found that my preaching and my mentorship is very hard. She disappeared for a while, only to come back after four months. When she came back, she thought she would see me. So that Sunday I was quite um, generous with people seeing me. I mean, I was quite um, uh, okay. I was quite accommodative for to have people see me on the Sunday. Then she happened to be one among those who wanted to see me. But God, by the eye of the Spirit, had already showed me concerning her. Pastor, when you go back to that man of God, a couple of instructions of what to do. This altar is an altar that no devil worshiper and no devil agent no matter how armed you are, you can never succeed to carry out your agenda against the man of God. The protection that God has bestowed on this altar, there were agents who to be cheated to come that far. So the girl was in search of what to do. And I just said, you, I will not see you. You will see me some other time. And now I have something very urgent. I remember what was very urgent. I was coming to the Pewa and in the Patua Vumbi. I went to see another pastor and the Pewa Vumbi Flanin. Nae Vumbi Nika Tumia. That's about a mambo yo mzuri mape mekua mbaya. So, ne mekuja nayo. And she's it on the pastor. But since God had cautioned me, I don't waste time laying hands on such people. You may end up dying if you try to bring those silly games in the house of God. So, because of an inspiration, anapatia baka mavumbi. Mapasa mbao anapatia na vitu. When God called me as a prophet, I was never given anything of that sort. I was given the Bible as the living word of God. And I was anointed. Those are the things I have. And I was anointed by the Holy Ghost. That's all I have. And if you want to get one hour, when you want to get one hour, 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 you want to get one hour. 
I'm coming there. So God showed me vile makanisa ya mapoteza pao. So mapasa wale ambao walikuwa na tamaa ya kuwa watumishi wakubwa. Shetani ya kawaingiza kwa miteko ya kutafuta pesa, ya kutafuta mali. Hile wanekane kwenye runinga, wasikike kila mahali. Wanatoa miyaliko ya kuhubiri inchi zingine. They go from one place to another. That's why I don't take invitations easily. I've been invited before. To nations of the world. And I got to know some of the invitations were not born of God for me. I didn't take them. I turned them down. But the devil can skip that you get invitation. There are some altars of his kanyanga. What you have, kino mabeba, inachukuliwa, inakauka. And I have some revelations and visions about some servants of God in Elder that I'll, uh, that I'll, I'll, I'll pick up. Now, one senior servant of God, of course, in our region here, akawa amekuwa kiendanga ulaya, America, Holland, Europe, Ubiri, and uh, we knew he was a man of God, big well. And uh, we went also, uh, we attended a seminar where I was also being, um, where we were being trained. And I happened to be among them. And so we kind of started getting close. And God warned me. <laughs> so, Usiku, Nikapo Funo, Wabwana, Wana Kanichua, and I was taken to America in a vision. And in America, I saw him. Yeah, he left Kenya to go to America. And he was out of the country, yes. Then God will have me also follow him in a vision to America. And I was told by, by God, I saw where he slept. I was taken to the room where he sleeping. The place where he was hosted. And I was also Showed his friends, his hosting friends. Nikaona, hiyo manabawa mama lipele kwa tienda ube. Ikawa yee haoni kina macho nimi na wanyeshwa. Manabawa huyo mkwanza, ni manabawa mama wanyeshwa mawatumeshwa mungu paya. Wamu katika ulawiti. Ulawiti is, is homosexuality. So God will have me, God trafficked me in a vision to America and where the servant of God was hosted to preach. And that's the ministry that finances him back here in Cape. So I saw him, but I was showed the, the altar, the power behind that altar. I was being showed the wickedness in that altar, in feeling homosexuality. Sexual orgies and party party. The Bible calls it lovely. I was being told that there's a church that condones lovely, that the pastors go for lovely, revelers, party, sexual orgies. Then they come back and put on a corner like mine to preach. Then God showed me that's where this pastor was. Then I wondered, God, this pastor preaches your word to see. But now, what about this? There is something God I don't understand. A man of God, kuna watumisha munga mbao mepewa power, na kuna wala mbao hawana power. You can have the word, but you can lack the power. Unaza kuwa na, unaza ubiri paka utue kijasho. Nisawa kuna ubiri ambao wana ubiri stand here. Na sema wana ambao wana ubiri hivya wana power. They have. But there are those who may preach like so. But there is no power. And then God made me know that he lost his power. 
We have him, he's around. I know him as he greeted. But God held me from talking it to him. He's a spent bullet. Spent bullet. Cannot fire anywhere. So how many of, of his sorts do we have? In Eldridge, in Washington County, in Rift Valley, then in the entire nation. How many of them? They gather saints of God around them, purporting to take them to heaven. Well, God may have mercy on the flock because some of them may not know. But if you stand on your own righteousness, still you can make it to heaven. One as we That's our Tibishikama Hawa. Then the Kaunyesha was PDP, also from Eldridge, a bishop. A senior servant of God. He, he trots the globe. He trots the globe. And they, they, have, they have shops in America. There are places where they go and they are given free suits to so just enter a fashion dressing, a clothing shop. And you are free to choose five suits. Don't pay a dime. Five. You know, a suit can cost as, as much as a million shape. There are suits that cost 500,000. There are suits that cost hundreds of thousands. And God showed me this bishop and how he lost his power. If you receive gifts from sources that are satanic, those gifts are used to drain your power. That's how they have lost the power. And all over, we are all over them. We are hoodwinked that is the, uh, they have the power. They have the experience. Paul says, I shall preach a message that differentiates me and the others. A message that goes with power. Show me what you have, I show you what I have. Now, they are here. And my father said, my dear, I want to find you wash because I'm not going to go and I'm going to wash your hands. My dear, my dear, I want to find you with a witty man on the end of a bokea. Neema, ya with a witty. That's why it's not surprising in a church. You can have one single brother sleep with the entire worship team women. Brother George. Hallelujah. You can have a single lady corrupt the, the, the corrupt a lot of men in church placing them under her captivity the spirit of prostitution or adultery or fornication but where does it start from the top I am a fish eater. Samaki walibiki atoka kichwa. If you want to eat a good fish, check the gills. If the head of the fish is good, the entire fish is good. So Satan in his scheme, he has corrupted servants of God and the servants of God are now preaching compromising messages. Or if you sin, God will have mercy on you. Ah, you are starting with sin. Well, for the people that you, you, because you want to lose it. If you sin in my congregation once, twice, and then you don't repent, we kick you out. Please, because the church is a place where you come because you're a sinner, and then you hear the message of the Lord, and the message transforms you. And you, you incorporate the fear of God. And then your life begins to change. So become a changed man. A new creature. But if you come here. And then you. The sin you have. 
Or you repent once, then slowly you transform and become a sinner again. And then you still have you here. Now that you being transformed, you are transforming others to become wicked like you are. We shall throw you out. One as you read. The way Jesus whipped out people who took deep business in the synagogue. We also whip you out and uh, we have you disappear. I mean, go out another place where your sin is all condemned. And when I preach about holiness, I know there are people who have not been able to stay because of our preaching. They have left. Are we sorry? No. Shall we be sorry? Never. The word of God is not for apologetics. Pan as we the word of God is not for apologetics. In the book of Matthew 24, and I draw my message from Matthew 24, and then uh, also 1 Timothy chapter 4, and 2 Timothy chapter 3. And the theme is also summed up in the book of Jeremiah, 23 and Zechariah chapter, I mean Ezekiel chapter 13. Mark them. And I am picking some portions for the book of Revelation. And I'm not in a hurry delivering God's message. Thank God for those of us who are here. And in the book of Matthew 24, I'm reading from King James Version, and this is what it says. Verses number 3. And I also want us at home to go and look at the book of Matthew from chapter 21. Read Matthew chapter 22, all of it. Read Matthew chapter 24, all of it. Read Matthew chapter 25, all of it. Then you shall also be able to read the related scriptures of the same. Now, for chapter 23 and verses number 3, that was it. Okay, verse 1. Then Jesus spoke to the multitude and to his disciples. Kisha Yesu, akawa na mlesha umati pa mwaja na unafuzi waki. Saying, akisema kwa, the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Sema kwa mba mafarisayo na masadukayo wanafanya kuketi katika keti cha Musa alie kuwa nabi All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe no, That is chapter 3 I'm not supposed to read chapter 24 verse number 3, sorry So verse 1 now chapter 24 verse number 1 And Jesus went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple so yes, we have Marika of Ponisha Kwamba, Akawa Mayenenda, the Kroka Hekaloni, the Pale, Wana Fuziwake, Wakam Fuata, Ilua Mwanyesha Pia Heka. And Jesus said unto them, See you all, not all these things, but they have one in Mabohaya Yoti, Yisokawabia, verily I say unto you, Akika Nawambie, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Kwamba, Akika, Akuta baki hata jiwe moja katika jengo hili. Hakuta salia jiwe 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 jingine. Mana jengo hili mzima ta promotion. And as he sat upon the Mount Olives, of course that's a prophecy that has been fulfilled. The destruction of the temple of Jerusalem. The disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So when a fool's hour, waka enda kwa Yesu fahagan privately. Many kwa masista wafuasi wale wakawida hawam. Na waka amuliza Yesu tuhambie. Nelini mambo haya yatakapo fanyika. Na mwisho wa dunia itakuwa lini. Wale sasifiwe. 
Na leo hii kila Mkristo ana tamaa ya kujua When shall the end come? Mwisho wa dunia ni lini? Na tuambie matukio ambazo zinakishia mwisho wa dunia tuambie ni yapi? So tell us when shall this things be? Unabi. That's why many people today are interested in prophetics. People want to know about the end times. And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Na tuambie pia ishara za kurudi kwako Yesu vile vile mwisho wa dunia. People are getting to be interested to know about the end times. But unfortunately there are people who are not interested in the end times. Lakini hapa wanafunzi wa Yesu namna mimi na wewe tunatamani kujua about the end times. That's why my messages are about the end times and the end time revival and the reality of heaven and the existence. Mwana is a spirit. Of course. So yes. Akawambia msari ambao na enenda. Jesus answered and said to them, Yes, akawambia, take heed that no man deceive you. Yes, akawambia, hmm? Tahadari san, jitahadari. Kwa mamuchi ya yote na sige, akawadanganya. And that's where I took a search of the Bible. Then, nikawa na jerebu kushika, nishike akili ya mu, nishike wazo lake mu, ni nini, ama ni unjumbe upi, ama we Yesu walikuwa na wasibisha. Then I saw that the deception that Satan brings to the world is packed in a man. Nika wala kama udanganifa kwa shetani anawuleta dunia. Imepakiwa dhani ya mwana Adam. Hivyo basi mwana Adam ni kiube hatari. Because Satan knows he cannot use a dog. Because a human being shall chase the dog. He shall also use human being. Just the way God has used men to do his mission, the devil has also chosen to use men to accomplish his mission. So isha kasema tahadari musidye mukadanganika so mark the word deception mark the word take heed then mark the word no man. Mambo hayo nika anika chi take heed that no man deceive you. Full stop. So what I drew or what I deduced is that one there is a deception. Number one yes waka wanasema kuamba kuna kuna udanga nifu Yesu asema kwamba udanganyifu huo utafanyika kutu, uh, kupitia mwana hadaa. And as I started expounding on that word, then I got one character about fake prophets. They never, never give you the caution of God. Manabi bandia hawafaki kutahadarisha na kadabu za mungu. Wata kutahadarisha na wewe kurogwa. Wata kutahadarisha na wewe kukufa. Wata kutahadarisha na umasikini. Lakini hawata hafanya kutahadarisha na hofu ya jahana. So when The Lord talked about men. He went further. Verse number five. 
And many shall come in my name saying I am Christ and they shall deceive you. Na wengi watakuja kwa jina langu kwamba mimi ni Kristo na watawadanganya watu wengi. Alright that is happening and you shall hear of war and rumors of war and see that you be not be trouble for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet. So Jesus opens our eyes to the deception by man. Then verse number 24. So there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and they will show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you. Then in the margin of my Bible I wrote the word warning. Yes, I said, hmm. Akambia, behold, tazama, nimewambie mapema. Na mapema hii, na hata mapema ya jana na juzi, Yesu akawa ametuonya, na meyonya kanisa, na mawawanya wale wanye haki. Mujitahadari na manabi bagia. Mujitahadari na watumishi wa gizani. Mujitahadari na wanadamu hao. So the devil has captured some men. Chetana mwateka watu flat. Na unfortunately, ama wateka hata watumishu wa kwa. Mba wale kwa watumishu wa kuhu. Who are now behaving like fallen angels. And some people shall be able to know after this message if your pastor is fallen. If your prophet is a fallen prophet, you will know. Once you shall you alone, you won't need another confirmation from any source. Pack up your Bibles, remove your, your feet from there. I always say, take your quarters. Take them where they belong. So, yes, when you are saying, Kutaku wako na manabi bandia, na pia ma Christo Christo bandia. False Christ. Na watafanya ishara na mujiza. Ambazo itakuwa ita 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 fanyisha hata walio watendo wa kwa waweze kudanganyika na ndio muujiza inafanya watu wengi kuanguka I, I i god has used me in the ministry of signs and wonders and i'm not telling to to stop it because a mark of an apostle is uh, a signs and wonders and my the ministry i do is accompanying the signs and wonders so I'm not asking God to remove it. However, there is a great danger in a Christian pursuing miracles, signs, and wonders. And that is the deception the devil has used. Oh, I'm just going out for adventure. I get a miracle. Fine. What if the miracle worker also wants to devour you? If he asks for a prize, will you not give him? That's why we have many singers of the gospel. I want to be famous. Okay, at what price? Any. Hey, can I name it? Yes. Would you agree? Yes. And they agreed. Are they famous? Of course. Are they going to heaven? Never. But the danger is they are recruiting many others to be like them. Yesu wakatuonya tahadari na watuwa mahamu. Watafanya mujiza na ishara. Na hata kiwezekana, watafanyisha wateule kudanganyika. Na walewa kriso wengu midanganyika. My ministry cutters, this ministry has cut across 200 ministries. 200, uh, uh, 200 uh, denominations so far. And it should be more, right? I have counseled with such members from such ch churches in hundreds and also in hundreds other counties, nearly all the counties and across the border, across the nations. And I have, have, have confirmed 
I can only tell a Christian from the altar he comes from. Kuna wale ambao ni wamefugwa tu na mapasta badia. Very sad. So Jesus says, I have told you, God has warned us. Na ni wana kanambia kusu mapasta hao ambao madabao zao natumika kama 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 mtego wa kishetani there are altars that are traps you step on them Aha. you wonder what came upon you yes you may have money ukishaenda kwa madabao kama hizo pesa takufuata because the devil has money but any time the devil gives you money he gives you another thing there is no way satan can give you things with both hands he shall give you something with one hand and you use another hand to remove something from you. Hakuna vile shetani atakupatia vitu nzuri kwa mikono miwili. After all, hakuna kitu kizuri kinachokana shetani. So kama ni pesa atakupa because anazo pesa zimewapa dunia. Lakini kwa mkono mmoja atakupa na kwa mkono mwingine atakuwa anafanya nini? Anakupokonya mambo fulani atakupokonya hofu ya Mungu na kupokonya hofu ya Mungu hauta na haja utakatifu and that's why women who go to church and they dress as though they are going for picnic men who go to church dressed that they are out to hunt there's something adui ametoa kwao the fear of God that's what the devil hunts you. And if also a pastor begins to behave like so, preaching with the bling bling, pastor plating your hair, and then they want to preach. Pastor adorning an earring. Someone of God, hmm? putting on your tie t shirt before a congregation that is mixed. We have youths, we have girls, we have the singles, we have the lonely, we have the married. There are those who are suffering. They just want to jump out of a marriage and jump into another one. And then you put all like that. You are communicating a message. In fact, side pastors are attractive to a flock that the devil has taught in their fear. Fear of God in them. What the devil does, the devil throws a dart. Picks the balloon. Once your balloon is pricked, slowly you're losing air. For the pollen. For the pollen. Your fear of God loses out. Because the fear of God is acquired. The fear of God is acquired. It's not imparted. Now, I impart upon you. Receive the fear of God. No. God's fear is impartable. I mean, it's, it's, I mean it, is a, it is acquired. You don't impart it. But you can infect you with a desire for the self. This one man challenges me on this one. Oh, I just went to church and I found today I fear God. Then what about tomorrow? It was like a smear on you. It was just an environment for that matter. Afterwards it became the real you. You are not imparted. You need the fear of God. You acquire it. You, you absorb it. You are transformed until there is a formation in you that has the fear of God. Holiness. Now, they don't care what they wear when they go to church. They may care about what they give, but they really don't care about how they package themselves. So what a moment of me. Start putting on seriously as one going to meet God. I'm not against casual wearing. I'm not against casual wearing. But a servant of God who stands here representing the image of God must package himself seriously as one that represents God. One as you 
So now I'm, I'm representing God. It's not about the color. No. Color is just to differentiate you that you're born again. I mean that you are a servant of God. So for us, dressing means a lot. So the part of our be how could I be on the and after one man, you can hire a man. One tahadari he and yes, when you are the young year, yes, when you are Piaka, or get from Fini of Yamanabi way. One of our the Mutume Paulo Mutume Paulo. Now come to the uh, Waraka, what Timothy or Quanza, first Timothy chapter four, verse number one. First Timothy chapter four, verse number one. Waraka Quanza, what Timothy, so that the name said Waquanza. Nana Soma Kuweza Waguana. Pia the Soma Waraka wa Pili wa Timothy, so that the title of Sari Waquanza. So Zote, please, Gatia. Now, that's what Timothy forward. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Verse number two, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Now, Ni nani mulianza na yeye na akawa mesha wacha imani. Some shall depart from the faith. Wengine wata ondoka katika imani. Wakifuata, wakisikiza, hmm, maroho zidanganyazo. Pamoja na kuzingatia mafundesho za kishetani. Wakiongea uongo. Wakine na uongo. Katika haligani. Katika haligani. Hebo ni kusikie. Wakine na uongo katika haligani. Niko na watu kani sana. Are you with me? Or someone has been taken. Speaking lies in hypocrisy. Kwa wangia uongo katika hali gani? Katika hali ya unafiki. That means, wawo ni wanafiki, lakini kila ambacho wanakuambia ni uongo. Wanafi, kile kile wanachukwambia, wanakwambia uongo. So wanakwene uongo, wanaongea uongo katika unafiki. Having their conscience seared, that mirazao ikiwa, ime fanywa nini? Ime chomwa. That mirazao ime chomwa. Now, the word seared, kumbuka ngombe ya kikatu wa pebe, Nani mwai kuna mwabe katu wa pepe? Watu ambawa wana mguwa ya zile kukata mwabe pepe. Mwabe anafuwa migu ya nyuma na ya mbele. Zina shikanishwa. Alafu wanaoma wenye nguvu wana mshika shimo. Wame twist. Ni mwabe tu mwabe anatoa, anayakodoa. Na ni sauti tu mwabe anatoa. Na ikia zikana ni kinyesi ya natolia nyuma. Maana pepe inakatwa na musumeno. Ikishaisha. Wanachukua chuma ya moto. 
hot road ayo ambapo wamba wanafika nini wanaichoma nayo ile sehemu so that pembe is made tick that word is seared the donedo hilo sia so imagine passi hiyo moto inapigwa pale katika akili za watu fulani Hallelujah. Na ndio hii kuna watu ambao hmm? dhamira yao imechomwa ikakauzwa they have no conscience they still from you no conscience you are in a charge of someone who sleeps with your wife <laughs> then they have the audacity of worshiping the same place tena nakusalimia na malala na mke wako A woman who sleeps with your husband greets you in the church. Oh, my sister gives you a peck, but also sleeps with your husband. Conscience akuna. No conscience. Someone stealing offering from the church and then has the audacity of sitting and receiving and also rabashanda rabashanda in the Holy Ghost. Na meiba matolewe ilikuwa kanisani. Kapata basha hapo na chukata kwa mfuko. I'm giving examples of Conscience. Ndiyo hii. Church elder who batters his wife then comes to church and receives the Holy Communion. No conscience. Someone hearing the voice of God. Sama watu ambao wanafanya uchalati. Unasikia roho bwana anasema anaongea. Fanga roho bwana anasema acha leo hao watu yaani let me know says ushasikia makali ya roho wa bwana kile hapa alafu unazotoka kwa ibada na anasema watu tukuni dhambi wacheni dhambi then the sister and the brother and the sister bana mpango kana mahali shato ka church leaves the church after the service actually leave the book and the having mercy on me jesus then goes back kwa kio ta chadambi pale meeting darling darling and that gonna find conscience lost Bible say mkutakuwa na watu kama hawa nyakati hizi na manabii kama hao Prophet Jesus say oh umekuja na una watoto ah sana kwambia mmekaa watoto wewe yeah, ati my husband na kunifukuza kwa hiyo because sina ndo sina watoto i cannot bring it as well as kuzaa mtoto So this false prophet what they will do. Ambia mm. Na anaangalia na hii. Ambia oh, your husband. He doesn't know how lucky he is. This what of Mungu we don't have no, we don't have luck. So if you hear a man of God say that you are lucky, please correct him. Telling you una bahati. Eh. Ambia yeye una bahati. Wewe mwanamke wako ana bahati. Acha ku I don't know rebo wako huo ati. Mm. And the prophet and Musa God are being sasa wewe unajisika na ili upate uh, pata mtoto unahitaji utakaso character of false prophets they move in this dimension wanatakanga wakupake mafuta mwili mzima if you have had a man of god who has told you that all you need is that you must undress and that i am not in your entire body false prophet even me i have never imagined that i can anoint you beyond your fingers or beyond your forehead and i'm telling you in my counseling of 20 years as a counselor and spiritual deliverance also of many years i've had things about on the key in the divine as here na yani na lia sana women who have been defied can say women who, who, who pastor preaches here then pastor amwaweka lazima anana wao kwa kwa akona akona nini akona time table who sleeps with the pastor next week Mama baba all the ashes all the sanctuary keepers must sleep with the set man the prophet Then those women 
women are so protective of any other new woman who may take their place. Okay, the Bible Mahatika ilikuwa na wawo. We are into a temple prostitutes. Today we are prophets of temple prostitutes. They are in Eldoret. They are in Nairobi. They are in Mombasa. They are in Kisumu. They are in Kakamega. They are scattered over the nation of Kenya. Those pastors, I have declared judgment of God that comes with a mighty fire over your life. And you shall not continue the business of serving God. Because you're not serving God. You quit serving God. You're serving your master setter. You shall leave the territory for us in Jesus' name. Asa watubishika mahawa wako na mana, wako na maviumba special ba wawo kiingia unapakwa mafuta mwende mzima in which Bible did Jesus anoint some woman the entire body what should I do so most of these prophets have something that will tell you special anointing they have special prayer in a special room. There is not a special room. This altar is a special place for your prayer. Open. It's open for all. And I have no special prayer for anybody. I pray for you here. My house out of bounds. I have my wife and my children. My business ends with you in church. If you come to my home, unless you are sent with a special sacrifice and offering, which of course I know. God will have to bring it to church, not to my house. If you bring it to my house, I really think as to whether you are out to trap me. So bring everything, every good gift you want to bring to me, the letter can sign. After company furniture, I will receive it in church, then take it home. And we make arrangements to bring it home. That doesn't mean that you will take it in my house. You're welcome. Characteristics of such prophets. Utawajwaji hawa manabi bandia Now that yesu ya mawataja Na manabi wa mawataja Na mipia ni mawataja Na maandika na wangelea Manika sema kwa mba watu hawa Waya wana wangelea Uongo Watu hawa si wakwe Ni wanafiki Mutu monafiki ni mutambaye Anaka jifanya kana kwamba Yee ni wa mungu lakini ya si wa mungu False prophets are hypocrites In fact they should Kama ngeweze kani Ni kuwa toa na fimo na viboko Na mao Because imagine Ni kama Mutu wa asinali Hamaya anacheza upande wa Manchester na kazi ya kumeshu kwa mama bawa zimengizo kwako. The days of the bandisha. They make sure that they score goals in their own goals. They are traitors. For saliti. They enter our churches, but they are out to destroy the power of God. They are in, our, they are in the body of Christ, pretending that they, will, they are one with us. But they are not. We should deal with them like criminals. They shall be dealt with like, like, uh, like betrayers. May the Lord have mercy in Jesus' name. I, I am paying our Nawaki and Bawa and Kudi Hapa. When you want to pray for them, they are looking at you afraid. Wana kutaka, wana kuangale na, na shaka nyingi saa. Nabia. Why, why are you so afraid? I don't discover that kuka watu hawa. Wali umwa na manyangawo. They were pounced on by some so-called pastors who are not. Hyenas in wolf skin. I mean, in sheep skin. Waka wabaka. Once you make up your room, you are at the mercy of them. So any servant of God who who purports on a skin as a special room up a special room office is special ah children 
Some of those rooms in Baza Omeka or America all just the shetan. Some of their pulpits in Baza, you can never come around to do anything. Here yeah, people are free, as long as you are deacon, you can clean this place. How will you know them? Manika Sema washa wa ndoka kwa imani, they have departed from the faith. Hawaku kwa imani tena, wamu katika hali ya kuharibu. They give you to seducing spirits. So, manabika mawale, kuna bila unakushika. I want to say this. Manaboza manabi, bandia ukisha kanyaga. Kuna upaka wa mafuta wa mutu hupoke. Your feet carries an anointing dependent on where you step. Kamu lingia kwa makanesi ya mashetai. Then, migu yako because the feet of a Christian. Nyawe za mutu mkristo ni muhimu sa. Just like the hands. Because there are battles we win by hands. Then there are battles we win by our feet. There are battles we win by our mouths. There are battles we win with our eyes. Kuna vita babu tunashikile na macho yetu. Kuna vita babu mtu mkristo unashikile na mikono yako. Nazo kuna zo vita ambazo unashikile kwa kutumia migu yako. So like possession you want to possess. Upaku wa possession. Wakumiliki. Imo katika migu yako. What is a spirit? So if you step here where the place is anointed of God. Na tukuombea. Then apostolic anointing will come down and you can go and step in a place you want. You can say, God, I want this. Of course, it's God's will. You have it. The sure is one example. Wana kambia na popote nyayo zako migu yako itakanyaga ni mekupa kumeniki. It has not changed. The same way, ukiengia katika mandabao za mashetani. Mandabao za zunajisika. Neema ilio katika yane mandabao. Ndiyo neema mutu wewa ubeba. All those who have come here from those funny altars, Nairobi, uh, there's an altar. These notorious altars, Amazon, they are servants of God. Who are afraid to challenge them? As a prophet that is wired and ordained, I have challenged those altars in Nairobi. If it is Neno, then it shall be real Neno, not corrupted Neno. God warned me about that altar. 2004. About that servant of God. Now he's not a servant of God. I say about that man. And judgment is coming down there. <laughs> Swift. Powerful. It shall be no more. There is not a way revival it afanika and then some of those altars are in existence. They are the ones that are not blue, some of them are not Papa! And I'll talk Plus this one, and you may judge a fire. That is not, that's a strange fire. And they should stop using the name of Jesus. Although Jesus said that some shall come and say, oh, we preach in his name. Well, even certain agents can use the name of Jesus. Because if you see the Bible, and that should be Acts chapter number one, thirteen, verse number six, you find one man, one witch sorcerer, calling himself uh, who? Bar Jesus. His real name is Elimas. So it's no wonder if there are people today who identify themselves with Jesus, but they are none of his. So altar that they can even put their anointed Jesus ministries. That's what they call in Jesus teaching ministry. Because I've seen some of their, their, their spiritual formations trying to challenge my life. Impossible. Touch not the anointing of God nor do, him, do his prophet know how. But look at Christians on the camp. I've encountered some of them here for prayers. They simply stepped when Kanyaga Kule Wakabeba Nema here. When Adoba Mashetan asked this, Where are you from? This demons. We are from some place. Allow us to go back there. So, Kikanyaga Mada Baoza, when I depart on a Tamaya Wanawake, is your queer Kawaida. When a Tamaya Pesan is your queer Kawaida. 
unachuki unachukia watu ambao wameendelea katika hali sio kwa ya kawaida una sio mabeba vitu vingine ambavyo huko na corrupted anointing corrupt corrupted the mind bible say that watu mshawa hmm. they shall be made manifest and because this is the team and I'm uh, up uh, is the team where I'm zeroing in as I before I finish how would just how would a whiskey story shika hizi ndizo ukafanya ku uh, kujitenganisha na wao maana katika second timothy ya timotheo wa pili msari wa msura ni tatu waraka ni wa pili timotheo msura ni tatu msari wa tisa but they shall proceed no further maana hawataenda mali for their folly shall be made manifest unto all men maana uovu wao itadhirika wazi kwa watu wote and theirs also as theirs also was maana kuna mfano wa wa Janes na Jambres ambao walisimama kumpinga Musa na biwa kwa na watu kama hao wanapinga ukweli wa maandiko Maandiko sema men of corrupt minds reproach men reprobate concerning the faith watu wenye akili zilizo zilizo tafuka akili zilizo haribika akili zilizo chafu hmm? reprobate concerning faith ni wajinga kusimama imani maandiko sema kwamba watu hawa walihebu kumpinga Musa they even never knew that opposing Moses means death all of us know that afterwards what is mezwa na ardi that can happen today as well that's why if anyone proposed to want to fight a prophet <laughs> please end the pime kwanza there are servants of god that are untouchable you dare touch them you call for quick judgment over your life so i want to mention there are the lives of gambrus even today and the likes of Janus even today that are the student servants of God Bible says that to how our take was so every false prophet whose mind is corrupt because I've mentioned wana akili iliyofanywa nini iliyochafuka they are corrupt their imaginations are corrupt their dreams are corrupt their thoughts are corrupt mawazo yao ni corrupted akili zao ni corrupt Maona kwambia niliona maono be very afraid Kama kuna maono wataona either ni maono ya wao Mungu anawajudge ama maono ya wao Mungu anawaona Cuz why would God want to have someone yet the person man needs to be fast have the person that is corrupted Which God would that tell you about when they themselves they in the first place need God watu hawa watafanya bidii kuondoka katika imani kama wao wameshaondoka their greatest assignment ni wao pia wa kufanya wafuasi wao uondoke na wao that's the devil's campaign to make sure i wins as many as possible and he has planted moles in churches and some moles in church will be some girls for worship team there could be some girls uh, uh, choir who are available the, the pastor uses them who corrupt to engage in sin some young men certain plants them in churches their aim is to make sure wameangusha waombezi that's why if you're an intercessor pray and watch because there are some men that are sent of the devil once wamekushika kwa dalana wao kushika you lose the fire and that's how madabao za kristo yesu zimemalizwa moto zimekaushwa cause the fire brand intercessors wale lengwa na mishane za usins and such prophets if you're in their church and they know that wewe ni muombezi na mungu amekupea hali ya kuweza kushika unabii kidogo watakuzima they muzzle you they silence you 
I prayed for one. There's another altar, I think it's in Nairobi, it's in Kanyobank. And there are some small false prophets. When I want to mention the kind of conservation, we know them. But there are those who are still hidden. They are small, small. Then that girl comes here, pray for her, and I pray for her, demons come out of her screaming and mentioning where they come from. Then I ask this girl, where do you come from? Nairobi, Korokocho, Malifly. Kambia, now why is your, what is your relationship with your pastor? I'm here, pastor, I went to the pastor too, Mzuri. Kambia, the, uh, there is a dream with the Peneke because when the power match to me, what happened to your 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 your, 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 your gift? I'm here, pastor. Lady, someone that come and daughter, come and pastor, that you will be happy. Now that the joy is acquired, you umba, the dog will now not make you mousey. Now that the dog will go back to the mousey, and that will I say, hey. I laugh now. Come on, I'm going to be a little bit more pastor. The one that make you umba, we see when I put you on the on the umba. And then what else has your pastor done? Jambe na onanga ananikimbiza. Kama anakifuwa kaf. Because I'm gifted in interpreting dreams. I just knew you said I'm a magizo. Kambe na wana spirit in what is on the phone. Nasi wana tena. Ati no. Kambe did you ever go and tell your pastor about your dream? Ambia ya pasa nikuwa na wambia, then upo mwambia. Nyo na pasa haku furai. Haku of course hami furai. And from then, akasa kwa tu mzuri kwa hamu, akasa kwa tu mzuri kwa hamu. Akataka niwe rafiki yake. Nikubali, pasa nilikata. Sabu nikuwa na shuna pasa mnye na hubili ya hezi kwa rafiki yangu. Pasa zi uhia some naive speakings. Nasinga mambo ambazo diya. From naive sisters and son. Alitaka kunatua na mbwa pasta. Pasta mbwa. Lakini kwa kile anahofu mungu anahofu ya mungu bado jaisha. Haka kata. And from that day ya kona ndote kwa mba mbwa na kuja ya memuma. And haka waoni ndote tina. Na waoni ufungo tina. In short, mule pasa na geuza na ana kwa ki. Ka. Kakausha na kwa ribu ucho kipawa. Ade, tumisha bana na ribu kipawa chapa. The authority set over your life, spiritually can destroy you. Kama mbote wako ni kidao kita ribu. That's why it matters. Who is, under whose authority are you? So, wakazima kipawa chake, ika haribuwa. The girl ended up becoming one that is so loose also. So now we come to marry someone. Take a look away. That's why don't just marry a man. If you know you have a gift of the spirit of God, whomsoever you marry matters. Cause kuna some sweeter room than devil can send to you. Kuna wala mbosha ni za kutumia. Kama ni mwanaume unazotimua dada wanyataka uoneke na ye. Lengu lake ni kwamba uatumike na sheta. Akaushe kipawachako. Kubaki zio. Likewise, for a, a woman. Shetani atengeneza ka brade, akutumi. That brother comes the way. And your grace for prayer, prophetic gifts, or your vision for life, the nation, that the devil finishes his business with you. Unajipate wa ni kahaba kama wengine. Then people wonder, is this not the one you do? Professor, and the ministry ni mwana vika mahivyo. And today, nataka kutahadarisha wa Christo. Mandaba umengi ya meharibika. Kuna watimishu wale ambao, wamewekwa wa pali na masheta. Lengo lao ni kukuondao kwa barabara ya kuingia binguni. The highway is broad and wide. Barabara yao ni pana. Ni kwa highway to hell. That's the side post. Ainaka jamu. It is attractive. It is busy. Traffic is busy. But it has no job. Lakini barabara, ya kuenda bingun. 
Many a times it's very lonely. But I'm not going to be in a ufweke mwingi. Ina makona kona nyingi. Ina milima na ina mabonde. Ina jawa na miba na mateso. Oppositions kupingwa hapa na pa. Many a times it comes with discouragement. But that is the road you must stick to. One is as few. Kini ingine ya highway. Hai. You can rush at your own speed. You can resignation at full full light at a bit of bricks. The fast, I mean, the faster your speed, the better for you. Everybody is in a race. What you want to keep is that you are going to compete. And that can never come here. Never a guy come here. Never a new one come here. Many are in the shield. They think they better here. Many, 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 many. That's what's on the highway here. Sometimes it's better you have the whole stuff you have, but the peace of God and the assurance of making it to heaven. Sasa watu mshikama hawa kikia kwa madabo yao. Nehema hine unabeba. Niliombia dadakamo ya mekuja na mashetani wengi kutoka kule. Akapewa machupa ya mafuta from aviation TV. Aviation. Aviation, aviation. Mafuta mingi machupa. Na vitu vitu nini. Akambua hindi azike wachime mahali waike ndaye Yani hao wa, watumishi Wameenda tuwa na extent ya kuinua madabao zao kwa maboma za watu Ah, God will judge them God will do what? God will judge them Watu ambao wakua kelebea mzuri Women who are serious with God Just that wakua na, na hali ya kufahamu kwa mba Hile madabao ni agizai because they were cheated to someone. He, she, the I can take you to another man. He, this man, he is the so-called man of God. He can pray for you and give you something. Of course, and your can do it. Now, the state of their home, it can was. Usi kwa kilala na sikiru man, nega wa mekuja wengi kwa yobo mayao. Kwa mabati, watu na ungea, unatebea. Compound, usi kwa watu na cheza mpira, watu wa mejaya. But then when it is time to after share, you will, will talk to Chime, he's a, he's a empty mafuta, he's a to Chime, Chime, kwa boma boma, masere, masere, na ingine tuke pa nyuma. So now I want you to bring those things up and let it haribu. So now to uki haribu na kwa meda wazimu. I have banned those things. And I'm a sober preacher. I'm a sober prophet. The power I carry the power of God. How can the power of the enemy destroy me? Impossible. And that woman got delivered here by the power of Jesus. But they were afraid. I have challenged them publicly. And the judgment of God comes swiftly. They, those altars will fall in the name of Jesus. So, kikanyana madabao zao na kuwe na tamao na sikia tuka nisani bala uodoke na roa wana madoka na roa mtaka chafu. Tamani muka wenyewe, tamani muka wenyewe, tamani kuza wenyewe. You can do anything, you can even kill to get what you want. Si roa wana. So, how do you know them? You shall know them by their fruits. Neno na wana nasema. Utajaji manabiba dia, utawajua kutokana na matuda yao. So check their fruits. Do they keep a one wife? Watimishi, how? Manabiba dia, they don't keep one wife. Wana mipango za kando wengi na miyakanisa na ingi ya kanisa. They are sexually weak and promiscuous. They are philanderers. They pass on every beautiful woman who comes to church. They are full of lust. Mashaye mejawa na tamaa ya wanawaki. They are using their authority to sexually molest their congregants. They also drink alcohol. They also use drugs. They are bound in pornography. 
They are slaves of masturbation. They themselves. They are on the list of prostitutes who are their clients. If not take some on the streets, they have got the council take from church. I preach revelation that God has given me. No heresy. Some we have them in Eldorets. Some they are in in Nairobi. And today it is not a city that is more sinful than any other city. All cities in Kenya have been found wanting. These prophets are liars. They are deceivers. Look at their lives. Their testimonies are questionable. Because they are not in the car. It's an evil anointing that only attracts evil. Likes attracts likes. You shall know them by their fruits. Manika sema watu hawa wanafundisha mafundisho za kishetani. Mwanja wapo kama mwanamuke wako wame aurushibe na yeye ongeza. If a pastor gives more than one wife, then what do you expect of his congregants? They shall equally keep more than one husband, for those who are married, and more than one wife. If it's not sin for pastor, then it's not sin for others. Pastors in quotes. This is my life. Mutumisho mungu shati aka ubiri maonyo. Nana waonye. Any Christian who finds himself doubling in sin and then comes to church. It is a high time. Let it be known. If you are a sinner, be exposed. Tamaza kwamba wewe ni wa shetani. Please wake up here and stand on your forehead. But don't confuse the church of God. Today you are putting on white. Tomorrow you are putting on black. Tomorrow... Madawadoa. Choose. If you want to follow Jesus, then follow him publicly with no apology. If you are for the devil, then join the devil's camp and campaign for him so that we know where you are. Did you kind of go by the guy? Don't. Because some of us who are going to say, oh, we will help you so that you choose where you want to be. We cannot have you in our midst. And live alone in our localities. Wana ubiri ma ubiri. Kwa mwaneza. Bahati unaza chesa bahati. Ukiyaka elufkumi. Utafaniki upante elufkumi ya moja. Aha. That's why we are pastors who are playing gambling. Any pastor. And most of them are gamblers. They gamble with you. Tukiyaka machupa ya mafuta. Kama ilifu moja peke mapita yetu, alafu tupea watu. Iki uza, iki enda nusu, ita kwa pesa ngape? 1,500,000 gamblers. We stop them in the name of Jesus. We stop their trade in Jesus' name. Paulo akakutana na mmoja. Elimas, but Jesus, mganga mashuhuri. He met the prophet. And the prophet can be a little chapter one. Just one. Can be an aquazi leo. Slap them with the blindness. Love of Mecca, what can I ages? Wow, I was telling about a tabir. Be careful who prophesies over your life. None in a good tabiria. Kuna wa tabiria, you have to put a tabiria. Ha. Ni mashetani wa mekuitia. And the book of Acts talks about that small girl. What did the servants of God do? Kageuka. Kambe wewe roo mechafu. Au teendelea kutuwaribia nini? Kwa ribu kazi ya mungu. From that time the girl. Kambe roo mechafu. Toka daniani. And the girl like a loose. Hile. Zine marawa likuwa nazo za kuchanganya. Oh najua. Onyango ni nabi mtumu wa mbwa. Tunajua onyango liyo ni mtumu wa mbwa na wakwe. I don't need anyone to campaign for me that I'm a true servant of God. So there's, in the book of Acts, we saw that as one girl. And I campaigned for what to be sure of God. 
Any person, any man of God that will teach you about tithing, by an asematizing, I take a it was Old Testament, be careful with them. They are moving out of faith. Now, to have a one of our own, the Katka Wong, seducing spirit, the word seduction. Seducing spirits come from the word seduction. If the Bible has, has put that word here, serious. It is very serious. Mm-hmm. So, my What if Come, I Then just be knowing. Seducing spirits. I repute them out of your life in Jesus' name. Doctrines of devils. My foundations are like Shetan. My foundations are like Shetan. They come again. Zikon Ying is squeezed. My foundations are like Shetan. We have a foundation that pass away. Kulani. Kweka mitengo za mauti. Hmm? Una hii. Enda panda na chupa kwa hii. Shona kwa nguo, pete hii, weka man fly, paka hii mafu, mafuta changanya na fly, kwa uso wako, uyo mwanauma atakuwa wako, mafurishu za kishetani. That process is being fulfilled. Leo hii, kuna watu wengi ambao nafuata mapasa kama hao. You go to those places, they are full. Na hapa ni watu na utafuta mwujiza. A miracle baby, miracle husband, miracle wife. It's not bad. See of Ibai after after Moses. Well, luckily, ni had tani sa kama lengo lako kwa na kani sa ni upate Moses. Enene na kani sa uhadiro na peda mu. Mfuate mu iwe ni itikadi yako. Iwe ni kawaida yako kumfuate mu. Naki ni kwa na because nataka ni pate kitu pal ni pate Moses. Of course, Moses should be part of our lives. But there are people who are in church just because they want a miracle and they can do anything to have it. So my pastor now from then now now about our total. Then the woman, I'm here with my pastor. The pastor beg we are anointed. Sasa jam in our doctor. So today the pastor my pastor my pastor. Even your husband Sasa kena na wewe the pastor. Now be. That is the wickedness of God inside. Why should God come and judge? So a person that educates him to the Bible, working, no one actually knows how. It's called the name Mungu, Mungu Mugani, Baba, the Baba the Mugani. Yeah. Na mtoto huo ni mama ya mtoto na pastor the one that you. Baba apu ni dongo. Amuna toto kia najua ali fungwa macho. Toto, 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 toto. Ah, sio wako. Sio lali, sio wake. Wana siwe. Izo, ndizo wanafanya kanisari. Na manabawo za mapasta bandia. Zinawekwa nguvu katika hali ya madambi za washirati. If they don't do such dirty stuff, their altar are in a power. Kina manabawo ya shetani itadai kitu. Manabawo za mashetani, uwe inadai dami, inadai damu, inadai uharibifu. And in case, so zile itake pewe power. The hunter, ataitua wapi. Wanataka dabiru, wataitoa wapi? Watatoa kwa washirika. Every pastors ambao wamene kunua powers ama shetani. 
they have a price that they have paid. Now, periodically, they must service those altars. How? Kuna wakati nguvu zile za waingia saa, inataka mwanamuke wapigi, watati, waina, watani. Inataka afanya, afanya usinzu, kahaba, afanya mamo, machafu, na zulawiti. So, ustake, ustake, oh, pasta fulani, nifumaniwa, akimlawiti, kijana fulani, wakwaya. Oh, ana mashtaka eh, inatuhumiwa eh, ina kwamba ali 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 mlawiti kijana fly. Before you say innocent innocent, pray. Because madabao zao huwa wanaangalia mwezi. Wana tarehe ama za mwezi ambazo iki inafanya kudai dabio. Au sasa ni wacha wito wa kawaida. Tofauti leo ni kwamba hao ni wachawi ambao wana makanisa. Na vile waganga wanadai da, ndio vile madhabahu zao zinadai da. Ikikuwa ngumu lazima washirika fulani wafe kanisani na accident. Wameenda safari wafe wameenda kwa matana. Oh something oh and cut on a pan. That's why I pray for the saints of God. Abao wana sio wa mwana mimi katika huduma they are covered with the same cover i have and if any danger looms we scatter the danger in the name of jesus let us see mwana boy yeo ni damu inataka ni damu inadai matanga leo matanga kesho yani kila june watu wakufe kila august lazima mtu akufe ama kila january mnaruka mwaka ya must be death check your altar those altars are notorious with such. Such pastors, you find that watoto wao wana weird habits. Watoto wao wana weird characters. Hawa manabiba dia. Wao wanye wana wana tabia zingina za hajabu wajabu. Kisha wana mienendo zinizo hajabu wajabu. They can sacrifice their children. Anazatoa mtoto wa sadaka. Anazatoa wake wa sadaka. And some of those false prophets are involved in shady shady businesses. Some of them can even be running bad logic, wana bana wana logics. Tayari hapo natoa hapo na changanya nazo kwa bad logic. That's why you must know is your pastor standing right? Now, aki pesa zaki of preka what? Hallelujah. 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 Do I have your attention? Pastor, you know to me, matoleo ya madabao. Kwenda kukodisha hawara. Kukodisha hawara. Hmm. Pasa ambayo anaingiza, anajiingiza katika mahaba na matolewa yako. Mpako hula maubema ya mahaba, ni mpako utabeba. Pasa ambayo ni nangu nasikia huu, ameenda abroad. Hakuna abroad, ameenda baharini. Kupena mahae kwa maji na haede kwa Lucifer. Pasa ambayo ameenda kuwana spiritual father. Some of them should go further wow. Ni mganga toka kuzimu. Mana wambia una watu angapi? One thousand sasa. Hey! Wabu unataka wawe ten thousand. Wabu utaweza karama. Wambia this time utatua mbuke wako. The hour is ataka. And because wame onerewa conscious, wana miyoyo yao nisha kufa. They don't mind sacrificing their wives. Wanatua sadaka wako ata wa shirika kabisa. <laughs> if I see a sickness in you that must lead you to death, I will combat it with all the arsenal spiritual till you come back to life. Lakini kuna pastor mmoja sana, oh, this God's will to give is of God and to die is of God. Na ashughuliki, oh, alikotoa sadaka, anakoja tu wende. Ni anunue gari kubwa au jenga nyumba kubwa? I have declared judgment in the land of Eldorit that killer Nabi aliyotumwa na shetani 
Baya meachia maagent makanisai Ma mafunga wata mbao ni kama kitawewa Anachinya mwonya vila nataka Your time is over The revival that is coming Shall not delay But meantime The purging of God has begun Purge you out Purge your altar Some altar shall be closed down Those are evil enterprises They are being locked and scattered in Jesus name Hallelujah. One as we How how? Tabia yao ambazo pia lazima ujue. Nimesema wanacheza kamari. Wanacheza sport pesa. Wanapenda kubahatisha. Wanapenda kuenda uganda. Wanapewa vinyango. Wanapewa wanga irizi. Wanatebenga na holy water. Wanavita mbao naita holy water. Wanavitu kama vifagio mbao inafagia. Wanavitu kama fimbo na kinabi. I have a prophetic route, but it is invisible. wanakuwa na vitu vya ajabu ajabu maana wamepatia oh adomat if i start giving you a domat kama ukiingia unapanguzia miguu na kwa mimi kuna power aya aya unjue mimi ni mchawi na watu wamekuwa kutoka kama hivyo wamepatia domat tukiweka kila anaingia kwa nyumba yako akikanyaga anointing anointing ina inamaliza uchawi wake we Funguka macho. If you are born again and then you are spirit filled, the power of God is in you. You don't need such stuff again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Occasionally there are anointing ones that can help us specifically as the Lord instructs through his prophet. Pray for the anointing in the sick way. Some kuna sickness in the bazo za mashetan, kuna sickness in the bazo za ushawe. Anointing all Ungovu za mungu na ipitia Kwa ni mungu hai But also the animations About you is the anointing word Hallelujah Mafundisho yao Watajulikana katika gina na yesu Marika sema hevi As we Wind up Second Timothy 3 Verses number 1 Waraka wa Timotheo Waraka wa Pila Timotheo Sula ni tatu msari wa kwanza This also This no Hii pia juwe Kwa mba siku za mwisho Parikisa sa yamisho kap Siku za mwisho Ziki itakuja Na nizo hizi siku Ziki We are in the praises time Praises times Nja Kuna kazi Mateso Mahanga hiko Usaliti Watu kutokua Uwema Manika sema For men shall be lovers of their own selves Mana wana adam watajipe They will be conventions Watakua wenye tama Bosters Wenye majivuno Plow Wenye kiburi Blasphemous Wenye kutusi mungu Like kuna watu wamekua ki Wakitusi Hii matabao Disobedient to parents was your poor attitude for us as well. And thankful was your poor na shukura. Na kamsimu wa kumsimu wa mbao ma pastor wenga ma ubiria then this season was she kamao they never remember their pastors. You are unthankful. Pastor waka ma ubiria munga ma kutume ku ubiria then wakati wa ziki sasa unakula kula peke yako. You are wicked. And you are just fulfilling prophecy. You are unthankful. Repent. Manike mesema kusu watu hao. And holy. Wasio na utakatifu. That's what's crazy. Someone goes to disco overnight. Then Kesha kwa disco. Alafu na kuja kanisani sande sandes. Na agadi. Umeingiza muka wa jirani box Uka baka mpiti wa jirani yako pia You cause incest with your cousin Plus others perform bestiality Na yu amekaka nisani Mungu yu muema Mungu yu muema Na alijeruhi kondo 
ngombe mbuzi ameshapachika mimba kazi ni yake incest na pia mahusika kutoa mimba then you are in church comfortably <laughs> babu say ana holy na watu hao pia wanachukia watu wazuri wanachukia watu wema without natural affection truth breakers they break covenants and we have seen that with the governments of the world all over false accusers in the continent fierce wakane mno despises of those that are good and that are watu waliokoka watu wazuri mm sio hiyo kwa kuna watu atakudharau tu akuchoke ah tunaokoka for the fashion so you lose friends because of maokoka usijali ni prophecy being fulfilled siku za mwisho traitors wasaliti mm ulienda kesha someone tells your husband unajua ulipoenda huyu mke wako anaenda kesha na akija kwa kesha analalama na pasta huko traitors so your husband anasema hakuna kwenda kesha then calls your pastor mm pastor mwashirati traitors walikusaliti hedi wenye vichwa high minded waliona wamejiinua sana lovers of pleasure more than lovers of god watu ambao siku hizi watu ambao wanapenda ustaara wanapenda maisha mm? wanapenda anasa zaidi ya kumpenda Mungu today mahubiri kipetawa na wao watu wanalala kanisani but you pass as you are amen asante yetu akikaa waangalia mpira and then wa draw waseme tena waenda uh, next round baada atakaa taangalia ah match jaisha spending mm, two hours kwa ngalia match na mahubiri kipita wana hawa hiyo kanisa naubiri sana they are lovers of pleasure more than lovers of god wanaweza kesha disco na kwa matanga but kesha kanisani hata moja kwa mwezi hawakuji wanaweza kesha kafuta dhahabu tafuta deal kini kesha kanisani kwa Mungu hakuna having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof they want to look like wako na Mungu lakini nguvu ya Mungu amekataa that's why unabii nyingi makanisa nyingi zimekataa unabii kuna makanisa ambao wewe unaambia pastor pastor niliona ufuno nikaona hivi na hivi utakapo na mashetani unahitaji deliverance hiyo deliverance ya kufunga hiyo roho wa unabii na situmike tena utakuwa kama wao Don't you think you can see the black and white? Wanataka wajionyeshe kwamba wana Mungu lakini wamekata uungu. From such Mark asema turn away. Kama nikaanza kama hiyo turn away ama. Maana sio hama watakukorrupt. Hao ndio baina watu ambao wanajifundisha lakini hawabadiliki maana ya watai hmm? for of this sort are they which creep into the houses na nao ndio wale ambao wanapenyeza katika manyumba and lead captive city women laden with the sea wanawateka eh, wanawateka nyara wanawake wachinga hmm? ambao wamenyawa na madhambi wanaingia kwa manyumba yao alafu wanaongoza tena kwa dhambi ambao wanatamaa. Hiyo kuna wanawake ambao wanafuata watumishi ambao wana neema kama yao. Ambao watakuwa very ready. Hapo nataka nikutafune. Wako very ready. Kusema ndiyo. Maanika kama mawaongelea wako. There are women who come to church and their intention is not to seek God. Their intention is to carry out the agenda of the enemy. Maneno yapi ana ukile kama wao. Tunawakata katika jina la Yesu. Tumewakata katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Maneno yasema kwamba kutakuwa na hali ya eh, ya wao kuwa waovu zaidi na leo hii kuna uovu umeongezeka zaidi. Nini maandiko yamenipatia? Maandiko yamenipatia mamlaka na mwongozo wa kuwafanya kuwakemea Bible gives me mandate and authority to rebuke them. Second Timothy 4 verse number 2. Preach the word. 
Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Ukemea uovuwa. Na ku na ku na ku kutofanya nini? Na kutia watu moyo kuwajenga katika kufumilia na kuwapatia mafundisho kamili. For the time will come when they will indeed no endure sound doctrine maana muda umewadia ambao kuna watu ambao hatafuata mafundisho ya kiungu. Na badala yake they shall do or shall he for themselves. Hmm? Teachers ambao wali ambao watafundisha watawaambia mtu ambao kwa kufanya kusikia. So kuna wahubiri ambao kuna washika ambao kuhubiria mambo haya ya utakatifu wanakuhepa kanisa. I prayed about holiness and I've lost some uh, some uh, some heavily manic congregants because I preached about holiness. I still preach about holiness and righteousness. And if you must carry your bag, honey, uh, you must carry your money bag, no problem. The Lord shall provide for his mission. That's why I don't rush for your gifts, even if you are you are heavy money. Your money use it to worship God, but not to bribe your pastor. Maninge mesema kusu watu hao. Na imesema kwamba for the time will come, kutawadia wakati ambamo watu kama hao wawata kaka kusikia tena mafundisho ya kiyungu. Adela yake. Watafuata tamaza na kujilibikizia waalimu waubiri manabii hmm? na watu ambao watawapa ma uh, vitu ambavyo wangetaka wasikie heaping for themselves teachers who shall do what who shall uh, who shall preach to them what they want their ears will be itching nataka masikio nataka nisikie kuhusu prosperity that's a message that don't preach God has prospered the people. And the means to prosper the Bible. It has been so corrupted. Because it's God's will so it prosper. All you need is to be to be taught sound doctrine. Pay your tithes. Don't steal. Don't rob. Don't be lazy. Work hard. Be a visionary. You shall prosper. So there's not anointing at here. We are not here to prosper. But you na kubiria toba katika jina la Yesu. As we close. As we close, tupa macho yako hapo. Andika ongelea, hmm? Verse number 16. But shall profane and vain babble. That's 2 Timothy. Chapter 2, verse 16. Na tuhadharisha kwamba tukataane hmm? na maongeo fulani. For they will increase and more and godliness. Kuna maongeo ambao kiingizwa ndani inakuondoa huu ulio nao inakuacha na uchafu mmm hobi kama washakuhubiria inakuchafua that's why don't watch aviation tv don't watch sasa tv don't watch those are the tv series royal and the other one is the different any pass of tumisho ngambaya anafanyisha Weka your deliverance kwa media watu waone. He's only looking for fame. They are not serious. That's why hapa when I do you deliverance, when nakuombea na nguvu za Mungu zime zinakushughulikia mashetani ya kutoka, mashetani yanakutoka. We don't allow camera focusing on you. We don't. Camera should focus on mahubiri na sifa, na testimony. Tell us after deliverance what God done. What God did. But kukuweka pale so that umachi naona Kenya vile vitu vinafanyika. Ah, cheap publicity. Baba ya semen. And the word will eat as kanka. That is maneno yao inakula kama nini? Inakula kama dudu. Maubiri yao inakukula katika mahao alafu pale na pia na nani Imanias na Philetus who concern the truth of error they wamepotea kulingana kutoka kwa ukweli saying that their resurrection is past already 
Wajua kwamba ah hakuna kufuka tena hakuna maisha baada ya wewe kufa. So if you ishi maisha haya the fullest. Vuja amefupa paka ikushe. Endesha magari zote. Lala na wanaume wote na wanawake wote. Kunywa pombe zote unaweza kunywa. What are they telling you? Eh? Kwamba hakuna maisha baada ya hii. Maana nasema and the world will eat you as a canker of who is immanias and filetas who concerning their truth they have error saying that the resurrection is past already kwamba kuna kufuka tena and i have overthrown the faith of sa wamepinua imani ya wewe so nasema ah you mean kwa kwa huko kumbe maisha hakuna maisha mengine so na yinyima aha so na yinyima furaha ah kwanza leo nafungua gear zote kuna ubiri kama hao wanakuambia prosperity ni sasa prosperity ni hapa hmm. mimi nitakwambia as you as pros, though prosperity ni hapa kuna maisha baada ya hii na kuna kuhukumiwa kulingana na vile utaishi so it matters how you shall live your life now is tapima lakini kuna wabili ambao wanakuambia it does not matter what comes next and there is a, a lot of guys too are saying about the Nigerian Nigeria and Nigeria or Nigerians believe that they will do anything to be a king even for 100 days and die blessed rather than leave a pauper and a poor man that's when our wives are fanya cha utajiri kupitia njia zote uganga utawi the worship ushirikina mmm ataka mateshi miaka i mean siku 100 kama mfalme na ni akufe kwake ni afadhali kuliko kuishi miaka mia ya umaskini na mangaiko but now are they not concerned of what shall happen to them after their death be concerned what happens to you after this life when such you way lazima ujitahadhari sana this is why god our fathers hmm mambo yao ina 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 inatia mkazo that you should know the true prophets and those who are not tumesha mbaya akubiri neno la bwana akutilie akufanyishi ya kuatilie mkazo maombi na mahubiri na utakatifu tungana na Yesu pastors of god and servants of god should emphasize prayer should emphasize the reading of the bible should emphasize holiness and righteousness Hallelujah. And I saw this is the next vision about Amanisa Nile. Na nikaona the church repentance and holiness movement. Na nikaona imegawanyika. Na nikaona kumetokea tena na bi mwingine in repentance and holiness movement. Now this was a small young man but unfortunately amefuata kwa barabara ya Nabi huyo of war na hata yeye akawa na ana wafuasi na ubati na nikona pia anafanyisha kujiachilia nyuele sababu huwa anachilia mandevu lakini yeye anachilia nyuele achani na habari nzuri and that brief episode I was asking God what does it mean we got to confirm to me the first prophecy ya kwanza that repentance can break and shall have splitter groups and they shall have various so called prophets among us them you shall live to see it come to pass whether you pray or you don't pray but god is a have the people who are bound katika namba ya asubuhi leo na watu wengi ambao wamefungwa kwa repentance kwa na watu ambao wamefungwa kwa sijui neno na madhabao hii nyingine nikaona wanafunguliwa watu wanapokea nuru na mwanga wanatoka dasha be in jesus name hallelujah praise god have a side that message and i pray Mungu akusaidie kwa kufuatilia. Katika kuandika, andika hizi mafungo za maandiko ambazo tutaenda kufuatilia. Unabii na mafundisho ambayo ni mafundisho. 
ni Shingyao ipo katika 1 John 4.1 2 John 3.1 and 2 John 2.16 I mean, that was um, Tarudia, please. I'll repeat. Tarasoma Zote, so that you go confirm, go read. First John 4 1. About false spirits, false prophets. Second Peter 2. From verse 1 to 22. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1 to 22. The false prophets and false teachers. Second Peter chapter 2. Emphasis on verse 12 to 22. And after Second Timothy 2 from 15 to 19. 2 Timothy 2, 15 to 19. And then 2 Timothy 4, from verse 1, 2. And last for 2 Timothy chapter 3, from verse 1. Going there, maybe Adam had him worship. Then 1 Timothy chapter 4, from verse 1. Then Matthew chapter 24, verse 3, right there. And the judgment of the church of Jesus this morning, God told me that he has not yet relented. The church is being judged. The church will be judged harsh. Now, I'm saying, what is your name? I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, Mungu amesema atawanyang'anya huduma anaiondoa huduma katika mikono yao. If you are a pastor and you are watching me, this is what God has said. And I was given the scripture Matthew 21 and from verses number 43. And I always know when God wants me to relay that message. And I have not been given rest concerning that message. And uh, the Lord had me, as I had me, speak it. Na kasema kuna watumisha mbawa ni waaminia huduma, wafanya huduma, wakaaminia wa mafuta na karamu. Alafu wa huduma, wa mapasa hawa, wa watumishi hawa, wakaenenda sawasawiana na fumba mbalo ni mohapa. Hawa jajali kwa mba yeso wanarudi, Hawa jajani kwa mba hesabu zao itahitajika watuwa hesabu. Na hawa jajani kwa mba itahitajika watuwa matuna, wazai matuna. So mwana kwa wanasema, the disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen. Andike kwa wanasema verse number 43 of Matthew 21. Therefore, say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. Kwa hapa ufano wa mungu, utapokonyo wewe, na itakabidiwa taifa na loza matunda. And whosoever shall fall on this stone it shall be broken, but on whosoever he shall fall, it will grind him to powder. That is judgment. Na kwamba, yachile ambalo shoka hili tamangukia, ama jiwe hili tamangukia, itamponda na kumvunja vipande vipande. Na walakini yote yule ambaye, Ataanguka hmm? Itafanya kumusaga saga Kama unga Alia na masikio Na skill So there are pastors who lose their ministries Not because of any schemes of the enemy It is a judgment from God 
you will lose it because you did not keep it, you did not nurture it, you did not cherish it. Now, we are going to do that. We are going to do that. God has an issue. That you are not preaching messages, you are going to do that. No one gets saved. No one gets transformed. You are not winning souls. You are not bringing forth fruits. We are going to do that. That applies also for us. Wa, wa, wa tumeshi wa mungu you could be intercessor in evangelist you are a disciple of Jesus it is expected that you bear fruit mwezi usiishi ya mutu waja okoka kwa bidi yako juma isi kakamilika na hamna muta meokoka hamna muta meongoka hamna muta mawacha dambi kwa bidi yako God has a case for you to answer Tufanyani biti, kwa maombi, mungu abadilisha watu, jamii, familia, majirani, marafiki, taifa, mzima. Jume unao upeleka, because kuna njia mbali mbali ambazo nezazana azo matuna. Hallelujah. 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 That is the word of God. That is the word of God. It matters. Where do you go to church? It matters who is your pastor and to whom is your pastor connected. Pastors were Kenya, Bawa, Meda, Nanguvu, Uganda, Ama, Nigeria, Rafa, Nakuja, Huku, Kuaosha, Namaji, Matakatif. Repent. Because your pastor will be Kuhuza. On the coming Sunday, Tawgida, Bawa, Mapasa, Mbao, Ni Kama, my agents, Wakuwauza, Ni brokers. Wanawanadi kwa shetani. Wanawanadi. Because minu kama dabao yao. Wanakuuza. Wanakuoction kwa shetani. Wanatumia mbinu mingi sa. You wonder how you were initiated. How will you know that you've been initiated? I've been touching on the same. In our next broadcast. Na wana muu. Atu hemu sana kwa jili. Ya. Na madabao. Na dhu na jisika. Na madabao za giza. Mbazo za litanda. Katika kenya mana. Ndizo sababu za hukumu ya mungu ushuka kwa makanisa na kushuka kwa taifa na ke. Let us pray.